What did I've, you say? He's getting Dude, burned. you're walking on fucking thin, thin ice, ice dude. dude. Yeah. It's nuts. You came back here from Spain with a fucking attitude. <laughs> yeah. I'm sick of it, dude. Listen here, elote boy. You need to cut it the fuck out. Look at that. The elote shit got both of these guys. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do in Spain? Put the mic near your mouth, Rudy. What How was you your family? Do? Is your family good? Yeah. My family is good. And you, you spent time with them? Yeah. What was one thing that you did with them? I went on a Euro trip. You toured Europe? Yes. Fuck, man. You are so boring. So boring. It's nuts. What did you do? I miss you a lot. I was like, every day, like, what are they doing now? They're probably shooting bad friends. Did you miss us? Oh, yeah. He didn't miss oh. us at all. <laughs> he didn't? I thought he was serious. No, he's not. He's being facetious. It's annoying. You know, we're going to the Philippines in next month together. Yeah. For how long? For a week. Yeah. I can't wait. What are you guys doing there? So exciting. I'm doing my talent show. We're doing Bobby's talent show. Oh right! The, the, oh, that's right. You're, this is the voice. Yeah. Yeah, I do my talent show there. Are they? Are you making money on this? No, I like <laughs> yes. to do my talent show. Probably losing money. <laughs> we, we're, I, well, I think I've, I've already lost twenty grand, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're paying twenty grand to go to the Philippines to, to do, do my own show. talent show. Yeah. But why? Why? I'm filming it. Right to just put it on the internet. No. Netflix. I want to pitch it as a show. Oh, you, what's it called? Bobby Lee's talent show. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Bobby Lee's. Talent extravaganza. Uh, talent extravaganza. I'm going to wear a monocle, right? Did you get it? <laughs> yes. And a cane. Okay. <laughs> no, because I want to be like that guy from Jurassic Park, the very first one. I was thinking about yeah. the, the Monopoly guy. Something uh, like Richard that. Richard Attenborough. Yeah, Richard Attenborough. I'm going to come up and pretend I have a limp, <laughs> right? I want to welcome to my talent show. Oh, do you have an accent the whole time? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Bonjour. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, you're French. Yeah, yeah. They're not going to know any difference. They're Filipinos, right? right? It's and, are you taxes. ready for you know the time of your life, right? <laughs> Right, there's gonna be dancing and stuff like that, and oh, then yeah. I'm gonna film a talent show. Because the last time I did it was the greatest t night of my life, of your life. Oh my god, it was the best. I thought someone was gonna die. It was amazing. This is a midlife crisis. We're you know going back <laughs> to that moment. Yeah, I'm going through a midlife. You know, are you really? I'm going through a crisis. Yeah, you think so? Oh yeah. I think you feel good. You no, look I don't. good. No, I feel lost. <laughs> Bob, oh, what? I feel lost. When did this start? I can take a guess. Yeah, could ask. Three or four months, I've been kind of lost. That's exactly when we started working together. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, the timing. A midlife crisis happens anywhere 40 to 60 years old. And I got to tell you, it affects men and women. <clears throat> now, I, that part I don't believe. Yeah, I think more I think men. it's almost always a male thing. Yeah, I had a midlife crisis at 19. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not a real thing. Not a real thing. <laughs> the, well, you know, you no, know you, do you know what it is? I've said this before on the show. It's a midlife assessment. It means you're like reassess because what you do is it's actually a positive thing. It has a negative connotation, but I think it's the opposite. The reason that people have a quote unquote midlife crisis is because you've lived enough life where you can actually look back and go, wow, I've lived a lot of life. What do I want to change in the future so I don't repeat mistakes from prior that I want to grow and be happy? And like it's usually because your life is going, hey, it's time for a shift. Mm -hmm. We have to move into a new part of our life i think it's a positive and thing this, that's when you buy the new car yeah i got a new car you did that yeah but that's not always that, it's not like you bought an obnoxious douchebag car and fucking but like, for me it was <laughs> you know i used to drunk drive shit cars yeah your last car was always covered in bird shit <laughs> it was. <laughs> and you would what was well, okay let's talk about my last car what was in there and i know from working a lot because i'd have to drive it and you pull in i i don't even remember but it was like a toyota or a honda or something yeah yeah like yeah, that. yeah yeah and uh and it was yeah. just like piles of trash <laughs> and dirty it was dirty. disgusting and disgusting. now it's rudy's car <laughs> yeah now rudy has it Is, these are the symptoms of a midlife crisis oh let me see feeling ask sad? me the questions ask me the questions uh, maybe don't I'll look at don't just look at me i'm looking at you do you feel sad yes or do you lack confidence I lack confidence. Both. <laughs> Especially after a big milestone accomplishment or a birthday. Like on your birthday or when something big happens, do you still feel sad or you lack confidence? Yes. Okay. Do you feel bored often? Yes. Do you feel like you've lost meaning or purpose in your life? Yes. Okay. We're four for four. Do you feel unfulfilled in life? Yes. Five. Do you have feelings of nostalgia? Oh, yeah. Do you excessively think about the past? Like during the day, do you just constantly think about the past? Yeah. Do you make impulsive actions? No. But, but I, I have impulsive thinking. Okay. Do you have feelings of regret? No. Okay. So no. Okay. Didn't hit all the targets. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. You have to have all the symptoms for it to be real. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. <laughs> I'm a doctor. <laughs> You're not. No. <laughs>
It, it, it's a feeling of like it's a feeling. I, I think what happened was you know you see people die, you know that you know Your right, dad. Uh -huh. right, uh -huh. and then you kind of think about their age and you know what your age is and you kind of do some math and you think you're gonna die i mean bob was 65 right and i'm 50 so it's like you yeah, know but bob died as a freak actor. i know that my point is that you guy. still think that way and no it's no i'm like... saying you're right he was healthy you should die way before him. <laughs> <laughs> i know he was a healthy that's the guy thing it's like so actor. it's like you, you don't know but um and you kind of go you know i want to do something different and i want to you know, just milk these next chapter of my life what, what, does milk that mean? What, what are you gonna do how do you milk it well for instance i'm not as scared anymore of what what were you scared of i used to get like really nervous on set for a film or a movie yeah or, i mean a TV and show. now i just don't feel that yeah. which is cool that's great i yeah, gotta like, be honest i feel that i i have that too but also <clears throat> a piece of me um thinks it withholds me from like living in the moment sometimes because yeah but you, you but you also think like are they like I don't I'm not I'm not more like I used to be focused on do do they think that I'm good or do they am I doing it right or no. all those kind of questions and those questions are like not very much like I don't give a shit but it's all a no you're not doing good nope. <laughs> nobody cares yeah nobody cares I feel that way but I feel like it's a detriment I miss the fear a little bit maybe but you should always be living like you're not gonna live tomorrow so having that wonder of like what's gonna happen if I die soon even no matter what your age is obviously it probably gets worse as you get older <laughs> but it does it and does. i know it does for me but but it you know it's good to think about that well how old are you now juice again 30s. i'm 32 but i yeah. remember like partying a lot in my in like my late teens early 20s and doing psychedelics and you know thinking about death more yeah and, yeah. and then there was like a shift where i like got my life together kind of slowly but you know yeah I guess, and th but there's also um, there's something that happened the other day at the improv, and I can't. I don't want to name the person, but I know a, a woman who did comedy. Maybe when I started doing comedy, she was a headliner, and then I didn't see her for like many, many years. But I've seen her around lately, and she comes to me, and she's much so much older and needy. And she comes to me, she goes, I don't know what happened. It's like, I can't get spots anymore. I'm going to all these clubs. No one knows me. And it's like, you know, I still got it. I still got it. Is this Nikki Glaser? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, 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 no. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and, and you know what I mean? And I, and I, I kind of want to look at her and go, like, it's, I want to say it's over, you know? But it's like, I'm not there and I don't want to get there. No one needs to say that to anybody. I didn't say that. No, but I'm saying, I always go, they'll figure it out. I always say, keep trying. They'll they'll get there on their own. Yeah, but you see that kind of desperation, and you kind of go, "Yeah, I'm in a good place right now." You know? Yeah, you're yeah, very blessed. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, it can all go away. It okay, now I'm really scared. Away. I was feeling pretty confident. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why the, 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 this pod went to this direction. Let's switch it up. I don't think we can. Let's stay here. I like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah. What are you scared about? Oh my god. 